What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I figured since I'm having a hard time uh, removing this piece and I searched and there's really nothing out there that tells you how to, um, I figured, hey, why not? Just bring out the camera and um, get it going. So what I'm trying to get at is I'm trying to remove this uh, heater core and I'm showing you guys this so that um, you guys don't make the same mistake I did. Well, by accident, I broke off the piece that went right there on the side, which is that. But, anyways, up here, you have two clips and two clips on each side, and then the, a cover comes out, which is this, no. I don't know where it's at. Oh, this cover right here. That comes out. Once you pop that out, you're gonna see the heater element, which just lays there and those two hoses right there connect to it. You guys can see right there. These pins are holding those hoses onto that. I don't know if you need to remove that or not, but I did it. So it's gonna be two of these pins. You just pull them out and then the hoses just pop up. So now what you're gonna wanna do is um, over here on the engine bay side of things, you're gonna have two, four, four nuts from what I could see. One right there, I don't know if you guys could see that. And then there's another one down here, and there's another one down there, and there's another one up there which I've already removed. Okay guys, well, I'm a little out of breath there. My gloves are all torn apart, but we got it out. It's, I probably really wouldn't recommend you guys doing it the way I did it, because to be honest, I just ended up breaking this whole thing out. You guys can see it's in pieces now, which it doesn't really matter because to me, I'm not gonna use it anymore. But if you're trying to retain it, save it, um, sell it, I don't know who would buy it, but um, yeah, I wouldn't suggest you breaking it off. But anyways, um, pretty much what you gotta do is gonna be those four bolts that are right here that I told you guys, one here, up there, up there, up there, and then those four bolts gotta come out. The other thing that needs to come out, you need to disconnect this right here, which goes right there, and free that, and then you gotta get rid of the grommet over there on that side. And then, right here, under the, see I didn't know this till I broke it off, but where the, where the heating element goes, right here. So right here, there's a, I don't know if it's a bolt or it's a clip, but that goes into the floor. Once you remove that, then this whole piece just comes out. But, I mean, like I said, mine's broken. Um, it is what it is. I was getting a little frustrating. I'm not gonna use this piece anymore. I didn't really give a damn if I salvaged it or not, but, Here's all the pieces that I broke off. Mm -hmm. All these are gonna be just garbijo, trash, you know. It is what it is. Uh, the good thing is I got it out. Ooh, the bad thing is I just made a mess with this shit. Um, this thing has coolant, so be careful when you pull it out. If you haven't drained your radiator and you're pulling this out, I would suggest you drain your radiator because you're gonna make a mess inside your car. See, with me, that doesn't really matter once again because, I mean, I'm pretty much gutting the whole inside and I'm replacing a lot of things. But, even by draining the radiator, I still managed to make a mess. Not so much inside, but out here, look. So, yeah, just be careful when you guys pull it out is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, be patient with this shit and don't break it like me. So the good thing is that the heater core is out. The bad thing is now I got this big ass hole looking to the outside. So that sucks. I'm gonna definitely need to cover that because that's not good. Um, me deleting AC and heater, well not really. I guess this is good for like the winter time. If you don't have heater, you know, all that engine heat is gonna come in. But in the summer, imagine in the summer, no, no AC. Fuck. 
Plus, you got that big ass hole. Jesus. So, but I will say this one thing though. Um, like I said in the previous videos, I've removed several dashes before. Uh, one being from a Calibre SRT4 that now belongs to Senor Forky, aka Devin. Um, the other dash I removed was a 350Z. Um, of course, Batman Civic SI. Who the fuck is calling me? And where's my phone? Hold on. So as I was saying, um, oh yeah, Batman's dash, of course, came out. So long story short, um, from all the dashes that I've removed, so far this BMW E46 has been the best one. Because you guys saw how simple it was to remove the dash itself. You guys saw how simple it was to remove the actual dash bar. Um, and with that being said, I remember when I removed Batman's dash bar. Well, first of all, that Batman's dashboard uh, was like 20 pieces. I know the... I know it was like a dashboard frame plastic looking thing and then it had like a lot of like snap in pieces. Um, I know my caliber uh, was similar to that. The 350Z was very similar to that. The 350Z was actually probably, it was a lot of pieces. Um, the Z46 was one piece, actually two pieces if you count the, the airbag uh, cover. So two pieces. Two pieces, and then on top of that, all the bolts were in the front. That was very easy. Um, and Batman, you, you guys saw the bolts were all over the dashboard, up front, sides, everything. These were just in the front. Um, and even just having bolts in the front, it was still very sturdy. It was more sturdy than all the other dashes, surprisingly. But when I noticed, and on my Caliber 2 and on the Z as well, but on Batman's, Civic on his dash bar, there was a lot of connectors connected to it. Not not necessarily connected to it because that's dumb, you know. You would, but there was like a lot of grounds attached to that dash bar, and it just had like a lot of uh, zip ties tied in from like other harnesses. Well, the thing that I liked about the Z46 is that nothing was on the dash bar. If you look, this, I mean, for being a German car and for being like so electronical and all this like digital shit this and you know you would assume the wire mess would be sh shit a shit ton because my caliber man that wiring harness was a mess um well yeah being that you would think this was even would would be even worse but it's not i mean i haven't unplugged any wires keep that in mind the cool thing is the fuse box is already inside so i don't even have to relocate that in here that's already been done um, there was no wires, no grounds, nothing was attached to the dash bar. It was literally just the dash bar was on. That's it. So all these wires are here, here, and here, literally. This is how the, this is how the whole car is looking without the dash bar and the dash. And keep in mind, like I said, I haven't removed or unplugged any wires or unbolted anything from the dash bar. And that's how it's looking. I would say it's pretty clean if you ask me. Shout out to all the show to pop guys. Mm. <sighs> Nothing like a nice cold show to pop. Little orange monster for the win. So, I've removed pretty much, not all of it, there's still a lot, but you know, most of it is out. That goes all along the firewall. It's like a sound bending type of thing. Probably keeps heat away. I don't know the exact purpose of it, but it's ugly. It weighs quite a bit and I don't need it. On another note, let me show you guys how we're looking on the engine bay. This is where things get a little bit exciting. So we no longer have a wire harness and we no longer have a wire harness here. So everything has already been pushed into the cabin. On another note, on the sad thing of note, um, I have a lot of holes to cover. So uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not looking forward to that. But like everything, we'll do it, we'll knock it down. And yup, so this is the harness that was sticking out on the driver's side, this side, and then that's the harness that was on that side. I do have a question though. 
If any of you out there can let me know what this is, I'm curious to know, cause I don't know what it is and I don't know if I need it, but it's this right here, this is how it looks. It's a Bosch. So, I don't know. This was in here. I'm assuming it was inside the cabin, but I do not know what it is. So if any of you out there do know what it is, let me know. Let me know exactly what it is and if I need it or not. I'm still debating if I drop the subframe now or I wait, or I wait a little bit longer because I still do need a rolling chassis. Um, so I'll probably wait on that. Um, I do want to get rid of this motor ASAP, so if anyone wants to buy it, that right there. Okay guys, sorry for the change of quality, um, but my camera just died again. Um, so anyways, like I was saying, I'm keeping the back seats for now. I'm actually going to send them out to get reupholstered black because I figured it's easier, probably cheaper to do that than to try to source some black ones and then they're all beat to crap and I'll probably end up spending about the same. Other than that, that's it for today. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Um, and that's a wrap. I'll see y'all on the next one. Deuces.